daytime. It is now about 12.15. We got the good news that baby <clears throat> Frances passed her test for the jaundice, so she we are going to be discharged as a family today. We're just waiting for her pediatrician to come in and clear her, and then we'll just be waiting on discharge papers. Mark is at home. He actually went home to go clean up the trailer, clean up the car, and then he'll be back to... Um, come get us. They have her remaining under the light um, just until her pediatrician gets back and then we will go from there. <laughs> this is what happens when you're a dad of two. Yeah. <laughs> Update. Little Miss doesn't have to tan anymore. I didn't do that, I swear. What? I didn't. Oh, is that my deodorant? Yeah, I smell. You can find mine as well. Yeah. Alright, so we are back home now. I'm back with my original monkey, Bougie. Hello? Say hi. Crazy hair. We got baby sister back there sleeping in the pack and play. Amelia's making a mess with her crayons. But I had mentioned in a previous vlog that I had gotten Amelia some stuff for a big sister present, which I never got to put together. But her coloring book just came in, so I got this off of Personalization Mom. And it kind of tells, it's really cute, it's an activity and coloring book and it tells the story of like being a big sister. So it's really cute, it talks about mommy's belly, getting ready for the baby. I'll have to put all of this information in. But I thought that was really, really cute so Amelia can color it and then we can read her the little story that goes with it. So <clears throat> that just came in and I'll have to get the rest of her backpack put together. But I missed you mama. Did you miss me? Hello? Yes? No? Don't care? And there's little Frankie. So I just changed Amelia's diaper for the first time and it feels so weird. I always used to think Amelia was so tiny and now that we've had baby Frankie, she, Amelia feels huge to me like a grown up toddler. So when I was just changing her a diaper right now it felt really really weird because I'm used to changing her diaper now at the hospital and now I'm changing Amelia's and it's just, it's weird. So we're just settling in. Um, Mark's family was nice enough to clean the trailer out for us so we're gonna head back there in a little bit. Um, but we had come down here because Amelia was sleeping. So we're just hanging out. I think we're gonna barbecue, try to spend as much time outside because I feel like I've been locked up in a room for too many days and go from there. And then pray for us for the first night with two kids under two. What? What does that mean? So I found the rest of her gift. I got her this cute little backpack off of Amazon. Really? And then I got her this book that says I am a big sister. So we'll have to read that to her. Are you going to pack it for school? Put your crayons in it. 
Here, put them in here. Put them in your backpack. Good job. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we forgot to end yesterday's vlog, but it was our first night home. We all slept together in the trailer. We were kind of confused on how we were going to set up the sleeping area. Um, just going based off of the last C-section, I was kind of preparing to not be able to fully sit myself up without like assistance. So I had originally decided that I was going to sleep on the couch in the trailer since you can just push a button and it'll sit you up. That way I was close to the girls room. But um, I'm actually feeling really good and I'm able to sit myself up. So and we want to keep Amelia comfortable because she's kind of, you know, confused going through this transition. So we ended up sleeping the three of us in the bed with Amelia in the middle and then um, the way that our trailer set up I have a little tabletop that was big enough for Francis's bassinet to sit on top of totally safe it's not on the edge or anything like that so she was right next to me um, but separate from the bed that way we didn't have to worry about anybody rolling over and then me Mark and Amelia were in the bed so it worked out good. Amelia slept all night, which I was really hoping she would um, because her sleeping schedule was a little off while we were in the hospital. And then Francis was up probably about every two hours or so, um, kind of cluster feeding and, and then she would go to the bathroom and yeah, so. <sighs> that was perfect timing. I didn't even plan that yawn. <clears throat> but. It was a pretty good first night. It's going to take a lot getting used to and I think things will get a lot easier once I'm cleared to be able to pick up Amelia. Right now I'm technically not supposed to be lifting anything other than Frances and her car seat. <laughs> 